of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are celebrating the memorial feast of St. Jerome, priest, priest and the doctor of the church. He was born in Strido, in Dalmatia. He studied in Rome and was baptized there. He was attracted by the ascetic life and he traveled to the east where he was unwillingly ordained a priest. He was recalled to Rome to act as a secretary to Pope Damascus. Pope Damascus of his time but on the Pope's death, he returned to the East, to Bethlehem, where, with the aid of St. Paula and the others, he founded a monastery, a hospice, a, and a school, and settled down to the most important work of his life, the translation of the Bible into Latin, a translation which, with some revisions, is still in use till today. He wrote many works of his own, including letters and commentaries on Holy Scripture, which, when a time of troubles came upon the world, when a time of trouble came upon the world through barbarian invasions and to the church through internal dissension, he helped to the refugees and those in need. Eventually, he died at Bethlehem. And today, the church is celebrating him. We pray that through his intercession, that God may grant us all our high desires through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In this Mass, we continue to pray for all those who booked Mass for the month of September. Tomorrow, or rather today, which is Wednesday, is the last day in the month of September. Child of God, because you have seen the last day of this month, you shall see the last day of this year. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So it's a thing of joy that we have seen the last day. And today is the last day we have opportunity to book Mass for the month of October. 
every one of us, every family should try the book mass for the month of October. We are praying in this mass for the following. Who booked mass for the month of October? Sister Emanuela and family. Praying for divine protection and God's intentions to be fulfilled in their life. And Chokodi and family is praying for their private and special intentions. Mrs. Noye is praying for a speedy healing of her mother, approval of her green card, and that of her daughter. She is also praying for expansion of her contract through business and debt free. Mr. and Mrs. Amos Kafar praying for peace in their marriage. Okay, Wankwa praying for God's intervention in her life. Mr. Innocent Mboto, praying for divine connection, divine favor, divine breakthrough, success in examination of their children, and divine blessing and all around turn around in their family. Ifani Kesili Ifani, praying for God's protection and financial breakthrough in his life, and his family. Onye Kachuku Francis, Emenike, praying for God's mercy, divine grace, divine favor, and divine protection upon him and his family. Ejoma Mercy is praying for her private intention. Emaculate, aka Anyangu, is praying for God's wisdom knowledge and understanding upon her son Callistus Jr. E. Kanyangu, who marked her birthday marked his birthday yesterday the 29th of 20. Callistus Jr. we wish you happy birthday and we pray that God will bless you with the fulfillment of your destiny and many, many more favors in the future. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, these are the people who booked us today and for the month of October. Let us now add our own intentions to those of theirs by typing it into the comment box. Or we can simply say, our intentions or my intentions are in this mass. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God, who gave the priest Saint Jerome? a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more faithfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. from the book of Job. Job answered, Truly I know that it is so, but how can a man be just before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not answer him once in a thousand times. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has hardened himself against him and succeeded. He who removes mountains, and they know it not, when he overturns them in his anger, he shakes the earth out of its place, and its pillars tremble, who commands the sun, and it does not rise, who sees up the stars, 
who alone stretched out the heavens and trampled the waves of the sea, who made the bear and Orion, the plates and the chambers of the south, who does, who does great things beyond understanding and marvelous things without number. Behold, he passes by me, and I see him not. He moves on, but I do not perceive him. Behold, he snatches away. Who can hinder him? Who will say to him, What are you doing? How then can I answer him, choosing my words with him? Though I am innocent, I cannot answer him. I must appeal for mercy to my accuser, if I summon him and he answered me. I would not believe that he was listening to my voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. I call to you, Lord, all day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shades rise up to praise you? Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Will your mercy be told in the grave, or your faithfulness in the place of perdition? Will your wonders be known in the dark, your justice in the land of, of oblivion? Oblivion. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Why do you reject me, O Lord? Why do you hide your face from me? Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O omnipotent reigner. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God, O omnipotent reigner. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God, O Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, who many portraits reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I count everything as refused, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigns. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigns. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, as Jesus and his disciples were going along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds have the air. The birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Leave the dead to bury their dead alone. The 
But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord. But let me first say farewell to those who are at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, once again I welcome you all to this Midnight Mass today. Job has taught us today that the way of God the ways of God are not our own ways. God knows our secrets. He knows our faults. He knows our errors, which we do not understand. Job disappointed and shamed the devil and his friends who told him to forsake God when he was at a very in a very deep pain many of us today unlike job are the slightest temptation we fall and complain against god for allowing us to be tempted and to fall into trial we must learn from job I remain dedicated in our faith, no matter the challenges we face. In the Gospel, Jesus Christ is telling us to put his mission first before any other thing. To follow him is more urgent and important than any other thing. That is why he, heard, he told the man, let the dead bury their own dead. God's call. God's call comes to us, their friends in Christ, in different ways. Jesus teaches us that the service of God takes priority over all other services or all obligations. We must serve God with all our hearts, therefore, with all our soul and with all our mind. In fact, dear friends in Christ, let us serve God with all our selves. We pray that God may bless his word in our hearts and make us put them into practice as we go about our activities today through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. When we talk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he shares on our way. On our way. What we do is good drill. He abides with us still, and with all who we trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a 
and the shadow can rise. Not the cloud in the sky, but the smile quickly drives it away. Not a dust nor a fear, not a sigh nor a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, but there's no other way. To be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. And the Lord has said the sacrifice for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, he bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May God be there for this which we pray by sending that your spirit upon them that they do fall so that it will become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god we blessed yourself our holy spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we are married to become heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Those online will type in, peace be with you. And may peace of Christ be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should enter under my roof. But only said the way, and my soul shall be healed. the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Ask me not to drink to sin with you, yea, my humble cry. Why on others the what's calling? Do not pass me by, Savior. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am, yours I will be. 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 Yours I am, yours I will be.
us I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Glory be to the Father, unto the Son, unto the Holy Spirit. As it, it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, <coughs> world without end. Amen. United with those following this Mass online, let us say the Art of Spiritual Communion. Art of Spiritual Communion. Art of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus. My Jesus. We say it straight. I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred things, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, this is the time to share the Mass. Share the Mass and receive your dividend of divine favor. As a matter of urgency, may you share the Mass now and may God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, do so by visiting Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV on YouTube and subscribe to that channel. Those who have not booked Mass, today is the last day. Tomorrow we are already in the 1 of October. Book, book Mass, consecrate and dedicate your family to God for the month of October. And the blessings of God will never elude you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the gracious blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Bless, O Lord, our hearts and mind, and grant that as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us remember that Thursday, which is tomorrow, the 1st of October, is our first Thursday adoration in the Vincentia Reti Center, Ojodubega, Lagos State, Nigeria, precisely at Yekoyo Bus Stop. If you have not come for the first time, adoration begins 9 a.m. with Mass. Join us and may God bless you as you come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much.